welcome all to my channel and welcome to what is a start of a new series uh, so you can see from the titles here it's something called rosewald and the idea is to build a campaign using foundry uh, so let me go to this so you can see I just want to address a few points as an intro before I go into actually starting this what I'm doing why I'm doing this who's it aimed at and what I'm using just so you can see these points here so the intent of this is to build on what the community already has. So there are a number of YouTubers out there who have done some fantastic work uh, bringing lots of information to new users and also experienced ones who use Foundry. Um, the ones off the top of my head, um, Encounter Library has done such a good job of explaining the basics of how to set Foundry up, how to move into this, how to set these things up. Um, as a very system agnostic kind of setting as well kind of something everyone can learn from Bailey Wiki has done some amazing stuff for 5th edition D&D um, showing you how these modules work how his modules work um, how to add effects and new certain things um, there's also the ones who've done streaming um, I've seen see Harrison he's done just finished a what three year long curse of Strahd campaign and you can see his campaign in foundry and the, what what he's done and how he's done that for people there's also channels like the <clears throat> um like the funyan master i think that's the called um i quite like theirs showing things like that but basically what i want to do with this is to show people how you set a campaign up you can be shown how to set up the basics of here's how I set found you up. After that, you're kind of left on your own to figure shit out. And honestly, it's quite hard. You kind of figure out how to, once you've seen the basics, like, okay, well, how do I import this? How do I do that? How do I set up a campaign? So I wanted to do something that was... In line with what I'm doing in my life, I'm hoping to start a in-person campaign using this as the basis. So this is why I've done it like this. I've taken what I'm planning to put in person and transpose it into Foundry. It'll help me, um, I guess, like solidify certain points and also help me to identify um, any areas that may be needed, something I can look at. And have somewhere I can put notes. Whether this gets turned into something more, I don't know. But basically what my intention is to is to make something that runs from level one or two to probably about four or five. I have some I have something set in place already. I've been working on it for way too long. I'm a slow worker. This is possibly this is actually for me as well. I'm a relatively new DM. I have run two big campaigns both of them um pre-gens so i run stone king's thunder and i'm currently running through curse of strad i want to do something that's a bit more homebrew and trying to make it user friendly so the people i'm looking to play with in person are going to be new i wanted to make this kind of try to make it so that there are things pointed out what's awesome about dnd what you can do um, for Foundry and this series, I wanted to make something to show, here's how I do something. Here is what I've done. Expand on it. Have ideas. Like, here's how I'm going to set a town up. This is what I'm going to do for this town. Um, these players may never touch Foundry. This may be something I never use in Foundry, but I'm going to build it and you will get to see it. If it inspires you or helps you or aids you in any way, this series is accomplished what I want to do. Simple as that. So that kind of covers really, I guess, like the top two points there. Who's it aimed at? Anyone, everyone. It's aimed at people who want to pick up Foundry, who want to see how to transpose a campaign into this. People who might think, oh, maybe there's something on there that I have never done before. Or, oh, he's done it in this way. Maybe I can do that too. And then use that to build on their own skill sets. Um, it's going to be a slow 
process I'm going to go through step by step um, setting everything up. I'm going to include a um, probably a Word document or a spreadsheet uh, showing the dates I've done stuff on, what I've done, and also including what modules I've done. So that's another thing I wanted to do is to slowly bring modules in. I wanted to show people that building this, you don't need modules. And when I bring them in, it's going to be for specific purposes. I'm not just going to throw them in and go, I use these ones on my previous campaigns. That's not my intent. The intent here is to go, I've come across something which I think would be awesome. I know a module that would do this job for me, which I want. I'm going to use this. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's how I set it up. Here's how it works. Pretty much what's going to be going on there. Like I said, it's going to be running from level one to five. I have a very, I've got a theme. I've got a few major locations set up. Um, it probably needs a lot of work still. I think I'm getting to a point where I'm realizing, oh shit, maybe this won't go to one to five. It may be one to three. We'll see. Um, what I'm using for this is obviously Foundry. Uh, I have my notes in OneNote, which I am building and using through there uh, for my personal game. I will be transposing those into a Word document. Um, I will also be putting stuff into a folder, which will be accessible. Uh, it will be in the show. It will be in the notes for this video and all future. Well, not this one. All future videos showing you this is what I've done. Here's the modules I've included. Here's why I've included them. So it's going to be like a whole write up. It's maybe a lot of work for me, but I think it'll be quite fun. Um, aside from that, I will, I mean, I've used Dungeon Draft. I've made maps already, so I'm not going to go through making them. That's for someone else. I'm not a great map maker, but I've done what I can. I will put down descriptions of what I've done. I'll talk about what I've done and why I've done that in those processes. But yeah, to save myself rambling even further, I'm just gonna now go to, this is what my intention is. It's gonna be starting uh, in January, the first couple of weeks. Um, I'm aiming to have it go up probably I don't know, Tuesday or Wednesday each week. Uh, it's gonna be fairly short. And I try and keep uh, the episodes to 20 minutes, half an hour. And that's a lot to sit through. And if you do, I really appreciate it. It's actually really awesome to see that people want to go through and listen to me ramble about shit. Because I'm not great at this. You may notice I don't have the personality to be a YouTuber. But I'm trying to do something that's useful for other people. I want to do something that's fun. Uh, people can take... Uh, at the end of this, I may, if I can figure it out, wrap it up into like a module and make it available if people want to take it. And then basically they can break it themselves and turn it to whatever. They have a basis of stuff. But I want to do something different. Um, so the bulk of this is going to be done in Foundry. Uh, I've done stuff outside using various different tools, but I'm going to be building most of this in Foundry and you'll see it as per the videos. So I hope this is interesting to all. I hope someone is looking forward to this. And if it, if you are, thanks. <laughs> and let's see how this goes. Right, well, cheers. Thanks for listening. Um, and I will see you in the, I guess the first episode. This will be an intro, this won't count. But yeah, the first episode. Right, well, thanks a lot and have a good day.